Now, if I do here, simply just try to update the system. Suppose I'll use sudo yum update hyphen yes. Okay, so what will happen? So it will fail, right? Because it will not have any internet app connections. This private subnet, the private subnet does not have any internet connections. Does not have any internet connections. It is simply isolated and sitting inside the VPC does not have access to the outside world. That's why we are not able to upgrade it. See, it is just simply failing, simply failing, right? Connection timed out. That's good. Now we saw we don't have any internet connections to our private subnet. So how will get internet access to the private subnet? How will get access, internet access to the private subnet? Now, if I go here, let's go ahead and create our NAT gateway. Network address translation, okay? Mm -hmm. Gateway is a highly available AWS managed service that makes it easy to connect to the internet from the instances within a private subnet in an imagine VPC. Okay, so by using the NAT gateway, we can able to connect to the internet, okay? private subnet. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a NAT gateway. So if I go and create NAT gateway here, go to the NAT gateway section. We don't have anything. Let's go ahead and create one NAT gateway. You can give us same thing custom. NAT, okay. And you have to, you, where you have to create the NAT gateway, in which subnet you have to choose okay in which subnet you have to create so what we need when i need this one to be placed on my public subnet so now if you see this diagram here i'm going to put this one in the public subnet here okay i put the nat gateway now let's go ahead i put it here so connectivity type select a connectivity type nat gateway public elastic ip allocation so here we have to create one elastic IP. Let's go ahead and allocate one elastic IP address. We don't have any elastic IP address here. Allocate. What happens here? It automatically, once I created, uh, allocate elastic IP, what happens? It automatically created one elastic IP and added to the EC2, sorry, NAT gateway. And you can see here, it is having 3.7.42.13 is the IP address. Okay, got it. Now it's added. That's all. We have to only just add the elastic IP. Create the NAT gateway. So it will take some time, guys. Uh, it is a pending stage. Uh, just wait for a few seconds. Let me, if I just go ahead and uh, for details, we can find uh, what other things being added. So we have this elastic IP address is attached to the NAT gateway. Now, what we saw here in our diagram, based on the diagram, we have this NAT gateway created. Okay, now what do we have to do? We have to provide access to this NAT gateway, right? Through the NAT gateway. So what we'll do now, let's go ahead. What we have to do now, Go to the route tables. Got it? Now we have our custom route table. Also, we have one main round table. See, uh, how we'll see whether it's a main route table or not. See, any route table is a default route table as part of the BPC creation will be the main route table. You can see here, main, yes, the default one, but the custom one which we created, it's not the main route table. This will be help. This will be helpful in our automations part, in our Terraform class, okay? In uh, Whenever we do these classes, Terraform classes, you need to understand how, the, how to edit the main route table, right? By using the filter options and all. So you need to understand what is main and all. 
and what will be the options and value for that. Okay. Now, what do we need? We have to modify this main route table through this main route table. You can see this diagram. Through this main route table, we are going to provide access. This part we have to establish. All right. Now let's go ahead to the route table, main route table. So what do we need? First, go to the route side here, edit route, and make sure this is the custom VPC, okay? Edit route, add. Now, select the NAT gateway. Custom NAT gateway. Then, save changes. Now, what do you need? We have to associate the subnet with this route table, okay? Already we have one association is pending. The other one is already associated with the custom route table. That's why it is only showing only one private subnet, right? So I'll just select this private subnet, say association. Added here. Association is done. No more, no, no more um, uh, subnets are pending. All these things. The public one is associated with uh, the custom route table, and the private one is associated with the main route table. Got it? Done. What we'll do now? Route options is done. Route table, everything up. All the options are now done. Right. Now what we need? This part also is done. Right. This part is also done. So let's see if the MySQL package will be available here because this is the database server, right? Good. So MySQL is now, MariaDB is now installed. So this is how you have to create the NAT gateway and provide access to your server. 